What is up guys? Welcome back to the Brave Angler. You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest guys, in this video, I learned a valuable lesson when it comes to tournament fishing and being a YouTuber. And uh, I think it's a valuable lesson that, you know, some people learn late in their careers. You know, I'm quite ashamed. So in this video, I am fishing a tournament. And let me start off by saying like, uh, this was not like a serious tournament. There was no points involved. It was just a charity tournament. And uh, a lot of people I knew uh, were gonna be there. So it mattered a lot to me to do well in this tournament. I mean, first place was $2,400. So it is a bummer about that, but th that I can live with. But there was just a lot of people I knew that was gonna be in there uh, fishing this charity event. I'm gonna be honest, I did not carry myself in a manner that, like I said, guys, I'm ashamed. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, just kind of how my day was going and uh, I didn't do anything crazy or anything like that. I just had a bad attitude. Let me show you what I mean. And then I'll tell you what I've learned from it. Here, Brave. Morning, hun. Got a sign? I already got you. Oh, sign, sign for me. Yeah, I'll, I'll fill out. Yep, I'll you'll do it. These. You got a pen? Yes, Okay. yeah, I got a pen. Okay, no worries. Okay. Yep. It's tournament day out here on Lake Pan. I got my partner, Rick Amato. You might recognize him from the Lake County Sheriff's Office tournament. But we got a pretty solid strategy today. Uh, as you guys can see, the entire lake is pretty much choked with grass. And it's very shallow. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge today, figuring out what we can do. But I think it's gonna be a good day. So we're at our first spot, so let's get to fishing. Yeah. Frog, yeah. Yeah. Pickerel. Wow, is it really? Yeah. Here, don't let them break off. Down here. How do you work this one here? Oh, that's all right. It's a heavy rod. Oh, watch her. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, what is this, magnetic? Yeah. Look at that, I almost got that in my hand. You have one of those paper towels. Uh, where are they? Oh, you want mine? Yeah. Oh, okay. I brought some. Yeah. They're in the, my other bag in there. It's all right. Chris in the boat a little bit. Did you cut yourself, or is that him? No, that was him. Joker, that second wreath. I'm gonna need a new bait. Crap. That second wreath right there. No, like a little more to your left, like right in the middle of that pat. Oh, dang it. Come on, man. What's there? Just everything going wrong. Oh. Murphy's Law. About to hook myself in the face. They throw a bag, but I'm pretty sure it's a big bass. It's post spawn, probably. Oh. Come on, bro. I'm about to lose my cool. 
What the what the fuck is this, dude? Come on, dude. Just it's, it's, uh, it looks like a, a snake. What the? He took his white uh, jaw pliers and picked them up. He didn't want to cut them. <laughs> it ain't no bad. Good. Damn, bro. Can I can I just have a decent like? No, it's just everything wants to fight, except for the fish. Fish don't give a. F so. Everything's breaking. Like it's just stupid stuff. Like anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Like I said, like it's my curse. But. We'll get back on track here in a second. I just, I gotta get reorganized. Come on, dude. Nope. Probably worse. Oh, here's another little buck. Doesn't matter. Come on, dude. What is up with today? Everything just wants to be difficult. Can't see him until it's too late. Bro. We are going to go 6,000 rounds, you stupid reel. This is just pitiful. Can we just freaking start cooperating for fuck's sake? <laughs> nope. Okay. What's that? I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm talking to my gear. It's just nothing's cooperating at this point. I'm, I'm starting to get really frustrated. I know I need to calm You're, down. Uh, your battery goes bad enough, okay? One of them did. Oh. This keeps getting tangled. Uh, I'm about to catch a big bass, so I'm about to get it. Yeah, no, I, I switched out I switched out batteries and I got a backup battery on right now. But like I said, I just I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Like between the gear and everything else. That's right, we're gonna get them. This is just today, man. One of those days. Can I just get a break, dude? Like, for f sake. Spanish Harbor. I saw two Canadian Nice. Here, hit your live well. I'll hold the fish. Good job. Somebody's got to catch them. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Turn Man, this. he chopped that to auto. Look how far down he had that up. Oh, look at that. All right, where's your live well? You're standing on it. Good job, man. Christ, we'll take five of them. What the hell? Just to something. Yeah, maybe we'll get the dink back. But we're not going empty handed. Yep. And he might have ruined my worm. So as you guys could see, like, let me just give you guys some back history right quick. Uh, so I was supposed to wake up at 3 a.m., uh, load up the boat, go out, pick up my partner, and be at the boat ramp before 5 a.m. Well, I slept through my alarm. I, I woke up at 4 a.m. You know, I didn't get my partner picked up. Till about 5 15 got to the boat ramp about 6 30 so i'm already running way behind safe lights at 7 
Yo, so I got 30 minutes to get the boat in the water, go register, and then get all my rods and reels ready for the day. Also, mind you, for this small tournament, you know, uh, I had invested a lot of money because like I said, I wanted to do well because so many of my peers were gonna be there. It was just one of those days where nothing went right. You know, Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And I experienced that firsthand. And the problem is, is instead of just taking a second breathing, I got frustrated. I got really frustrated. And it just caused me to make more problems for myself. More things went wrong and which only frustrated me more. I ended up only putting one bass in the boat, you know, started off catching a pickerel and but it was a grind like all day didn't get a single bite until that bass and then not a single bite after that you know and uh it was just like i said i did not handle it well and i'm quite ashamed my best advice to you guys getting into tournament angling and stuff like that is don't put too much pressure on it like do it to have fun you know because like part of the problem was is i was making decisions i wouldn't normally make like i was making decisions based on the advice i got from other anglers on how to fish that lake rather than how to fit how i would fish it myself and you know it just made me angry and the part that's so shameful is like yes we just let our fish go at the end you know there's no point of putting the stress on the fish if you don't have to but that wasn't my main motivation my main motivation was just to save myself the embarrassment of going in front of my peers and like yeah i only caught one fish when they know how much i fish and how much i invest in this and uh like i said i i was i was just embarrassed and to make matters worse and i am so sorry for this is there was a subscriber that came there just to say hi. I didn't I didn't recognize him and uh, I was just trying to get out of there because like I said, I was just so embarrassed and I did not give him the respect he deserved is the best way to say it. And like I said, I'm so ashamed. I'm still kind of new to this whole like people around here know who I am from the Brave Angler. And it was a very, very important lesson for me to learn early on. And Jason T, like I hope you can Forgive me, like I said, it was just a crap day and I'm still getting used to all this and I, I, I apologize for my behavior so much. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to take a step back and you know, kind of like reassess my mindset because we have come a long way on this channel in a very short amount of time. Like just nine months ago, I was fishing out of a kayak and you know, then we got swamp bass. Now we have the legend and it's just like, you forget where you come from so quickly. And I don't know, maybe we'll have to do some uh, bank fishing and some fishing out of the kayaks just to kind of get back to our roots. Cause the behavior I displayed was so dismissive. Cause I, like I said, I just wanted to get out of there. I don't even know why I was embarrassed. Sometimes you just don't catch them. You know, on a, on a regular day, like today, you know, it's no problem. But like on a tournament day, like I said, like I cared too much about what my peers would have thought of me like try fishing for their respect and that's just a crock you know like uh you know i made a video on the seven mistakes i made and uh you know that i just fell back into one of the mistakes i made in the very beginning so let this video be a humbling reminder to you guys to check your ego at the door you know like you're 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 fishing out here like you're chasing a wild animal you're not going to catch them every day uh and some days you're not even going to get a bite and you know there's no point of getting frustrated because it just it just led me down a pass and now i'm so embarrassed that you know i got a lot of making up to do you know once again jason t i am so sorry for the way that i behaved and um yeah there is no uh there is no uh excuse for that so but you know moving forward if you guys are looking to do the same thing as i am just be aware that like even though you don't think yourself as a public figure or anything like that people will start to recognize you especially in your own area and uh you know you really need to take that in mind you got to be real and you know understand that you know it's more about than just you all right but uh I'm gonna get out of here guys. I'm gonna go fish, you know, without the camera just for fun, but we'll see you in the next one. Now go catch a fish.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.